What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Smarter's Nightmare Mode, where we will be taking on night three of this video, which I'm, which hopefully won't be as hard as night two, and I won't have to experience the same nightmare as I did in night two, where it took me like eight parts to beat it. But yeah, but thankfully I have recovered from that episode because that was a horrible episode that I did with night two, just trying to beat it. In fact, on the night I finally beat Night 2, like, like I was, like, it took me an hour to beat it in one setting, which is crazy. So, yeah, and also I've been, I forgot to mention it in the last two videos, this game is made by The Fire 2, he's the creator of The Final Fantasy Smudgers, who's also the creator of The Final Fantasy Smudgers Remastered series in this game. So, without further ado, we'll start Night 3, let's see what has to offer for us. I hope it's not as hard because I don't even want to know until I do it. Okay, so here we are, night three. Night terrors. After the second nightmare, Max decides to not go to bed that night. What could possibly go wrong? Well, well, I can imagine, f I know for a fact that he would be getting hallucinations because... If you go, like, a couple of nights, like, without sleep, this is a fun fact, you'll start to, like, hallucinate. And if you go, like, long periods of time without sleep, you could die. That's actually a fact. I learned about that in my health class when I was in, um, elementary school. So, yeah. So, just a P PSA, for PSA for everyone. Always get a good night's sleep so you have enough energy for the next day. So anyways, let's dive into night three. Okay, here's the instructions. Of course, like with night two, new strategies, new threats. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, apparently the developer, the Fire 2, has made a couple spell errors. For night two, he spelled Bert, he spelled Bert, you spelled Bertram with a U instead of an E. But apparently... He spelled Smudger's name wrong. It says Sumger. <laughs> I have a question. Who is Sumger? <laughs> okay. All jokes aside. All jokes and laughs aside. Now let's read the instructions for real. Okay. So Smudger. So for Smudger, if you see him, turn off your flashlight. Proteus, use the strobe lights if you see them. What are strobe lights? I gotta look that up. Hang on, I gotta look. I gotta go grab my. Get up and grab my phone. I need to look up what a strobe light is. Cause I or or my iPad, whatever's nearby. I'm gonna use my iPad and look it up. Cause since it's nearby me, cause I don't know where I put my phone. It's probably somewhere in my room, but my iPad's nearby. So I'm just gonna pull this out and I'm gonna Google search it. Okay. All right. What are strobe lights? Okay. Okay, an article from Wikipedia just pulled up. Strobe light. A strobe light or strobo stroboscopic lamp, commonly called a strobe, is a device used to produce regular flashes of light. It is one of the number of devices that can be used as a stroboscope. The word originated from the ancient Greek, meaning act of whirling. Okay, so at least I got to learn what a strobe light is. A strobe light is basically like a studio light. It's basically like a, a light used in like mall in like a mall for like to take pictures, like family like Christmas like family photo for the Christmas cards. So that's what it is. It looks like a, and they also use strobe lights for um. The stage, for, for, for the stage, too, for, like, during shows. Alright, so at least I got to learn something new. Okay. And then for smoother, the masked engine, if you see its steam, or his steam, because it is a man, smut, soom, okay, I don't know why, I almost said soom, but, <laughs> I mean, smoother, if you see its smoother steam, hide under your desk. Scruffy, if you see it at the him at the window, spam your flashlight. Okay. Controls. Control is to use the flashlight. Click an arrow to move. Okay. Enter to start the knife. Okay. 
Let's get on to night three. Okay, so controls to turn off the flashlight. Turn on and off flashlight. Okay, so I'm assuming those are the strobe lights. Because they look kind of familiar. Oh, wait. This is the... Okay. Okay, so we have a, we have a tablet or a phone, whatever you call it. And if we see Proteus, we have to use this, this phone or whatever you call it. To activate the strobe lights. Oh god, I hate when the grandfather clock rings. So we can move around the room to check for smudger. Okay, how do we hide? Oh wait, I think this is to hide under the desk. I think that's the desk over here and then this is the room that we're in. Okay. And obviously, if we see Smudger, we have to turn off the flashlight. Proteus, we have to use the strobe lights. Smoother, if we see it's his steam, then we have to hide under the desk. Sorry if, you, sorry if I pause for a minute. It's because the grandfather clock is so loud that I couldn't talk over it. And speaking of grandfather clocks, I actually own one in my um. Which I keep, I keep it in my living room. It's the one I got. It's it's actually one that my grandmother purchased. Oh, smoother. Okay. Okay. So do I have to like just switch? Okay. I thought smoother left for a second because I heard the door open, and I was gonna go check for smoother, assuming he's left, but he didn't. Okay. So apparently for smoother, we have to stay under the desk when he, the steam, when, after he enters the room. We have to stay under the desk until he leaves. Okay, so how will we know when smoother leaves? Because this is the desk. Is, is this the desk? I think that's the desk. I'm pretty sure that's the desk we have to hide under. I think the desk is on the left side of the room. Where we hide when smoother comes. Okay. And apparently I just noticed this. Um, it does not show the time. And I can't tell what time it is. In this game. Oh. That's the grandfather clock. So pretty much I have to rely on the grandfather clock. For each hour of the night. So I, And I have to just take a guess. Okay, so I assume it's 1 a.m. now because the first time the grandfather clock rings, it means it's 1 a.m. So it's 1 a.m. right now, 12 a.m. when you start the night, obviously. So yeah, so it's 1 a.m. So I guess we just got to rely on the grandfather clock and count how many times it rings to tell what time it is. Because there's no time, like, clock shown on the screen like there usually is in each night. This reminds me of Night 6 and Finance of Smarters 4, where there was no time clock. Okay, 2 a.m. The alarm clock rang for this. Up. Smoother. Hi, Smoother. Okay. So, Smoother will, will leave the room when he comes in. Okay. Yep, there's Smoother. Okay, so do I gotta wait for Smoother to come in or no? Okay, it's 3 a.m. now because I just rang for the third time. Did Smoother just leave? I can't, I can't tell if Smoother left or not. He's kind of throwing me off. And I, have, I haven't I have had a deal with... Oh, Proteus. Okay. I have, so far, I haven't had to deal with Smudger or Scruffy. I've only had to deal with Smoother and Proteus. Okay. And it's and I can tell it's 3 a.m. now. 4 a.m. actually, because it just rang for the fourth time. Okay, it's 4 a.m. now, because now it's rang. The grandfather clock has rang four times now. I could be wrong.